Okay, let's see. So, you have been um, trying to do things to get forward as far as your career goes, and there's been, um, you know, there have been people that have been uh, hindering you. Um, you know, may there may have been a little bit of deception going on around you. Um, you've needed to employ, uh, you know, very creative means or methods in order for you to uh, succeed, really. So you're trying to achieve some kind of goal. There might be some kind of, uh, some rival around you, somebody, some competition around you. Um, and you're having to use, you know, uh, you know, means, different means, um, let's say not underhand, but definitely uh, more creative ideas in order for you to succeed and for you to, to reach your goals, to finish it. Now, there also could be some lies and deception going on around you. You know, everybody is playing their cards very close to their chest. And, you know, you're having to use all kinds of, employ all kinds of methods uh, in order for you to succeed. So, um, it looks like, you know, there there is success coming in for you. There might be some, you know, um, uh, power play issues going on over here. Uh, it looks like, you know, you will succeed, but there's going to be a little bit of drama uh, that you're going to have to deal with before you actually reach your goal. So a little bit of, uh, you know, you might not be getting along with people. There might be a bit of arguments or, um, you know, uh, coming up against people, uh, uh, clashes of will really going on over here. So there is also a need for you to make uh, a lot of plans, uh, you know, there might also be a, a need for you to, um, this is a card of reconciliation. So if you've had any arguments or fighting going on between you and somebody else, uh, wherever you work, there might be a reconciliation that you will need to make, you know, uh, a truce, uh, coming to some kind of agreement uh, not to clash with each other. So there might you might be in a situation where there was some kind of uh, drama between you and somebody and now you have to uh, reconcile or a truce needs to be made up between the two of you. Okay, so in the past you've got uh, this card of studying, learning, uh, you know, trying to get your life balanced again. You might be doing some traveling as well uh, as far as your work goes. So you have been, you know, very pretty much focused on yourself, trying to get that balance back. Uh, there might have been some legal issues as well that in, um, happened uh, with regards to your work. So something legal, and there might have been some kind of official intervention. Maybe the higher powers have intervened in some kind of thing that you're doing. But there's definitely been some studying going on around, maybe some travel too, like I said. So, um, you know, people not being very, very upfront. This is a card about watching your back. This is like almost theft. So, uh, you know, this is, you know, people stealing ideas, uh, people doing things um, behind your back, uh, you know, uh, Things not really above board. So things going on around you that you're not pretty uh, very much aware of, uh, but having this, these things are having quite an impact on your on your career. So going into the future, you've got uh, this card of um, you know making plans for the future, and um, it looks like there is uh, achievement um, within. Um, that work situation. So whatever you are doing, you know, whoever you're working with, they are pretty good. There's, you're probably working with a team. You're probably a team leader, um, and uh, you know, you, you're um, people pretty much uh, enjoy working with you. So you are working some kind of project together. Um, maybe you've just started it off. It looks like there will be a success in the long term with this particular project. Uh, there's satisfaction. This is a card of satisfaction and making something concrete. So whatever idea you all had, you'll have been. Uh, bringing it into fruition, and it's going to be pretty successful as well. But also the people that you work with are, are very, um, you know, you get along pretty well with them. So um, it's a really good situation to be in. Uh, you, you've got to also learn, um, make sure that you are communicating uh, very effectively with these people or uh, whoever you're working with. You make sure that you keep that channels of communication open. Um, and uh, they they do enjoy working there. There's a lot of vision within that team that you're working with, uh, and it looks like there will be. Uh, there's this is the kind of unexpected uh, good things happening, unexpected wins. So you know there is progress happening, and that situation, whatever you're doing, that project will be very successful as well. So there's some kind of important message as well that you're ha um, expecting. Um, this could also be asking for some expert advice. 
uh, and getting that uh, advice. So you might need to consult somebody outside of your group or the sphere that you're working in um, and get that expert advice in order for you to make this particular project successful. So consult consulting and collaborating with experts uh, will be necessary in order for this project to be successful. So all in all, a little bit of problems. You might be having a, a bit of uh, personality clashes with somebody that you're working with and maybe you'll have to come to some kind of truce or some kind of agreement uh you know a little bit of compromise necessary all in all the team that you're working with is a pretty good one but you're going to have to seek some kind of advice or some kind of expert intervention in order for you to make uh this particular project work or make things run smoothly for success to come your way okay so those are the uh energies for that week those two weeks rather So I am using the um, oops, I'm using the uh, pagan tarot for the main read. Okay, you've got the Eight of Cups over here. So you might be leaving uh, a very difficult situation and really walking away from it. So there has been some kind of problem that you have been facing and, uh, uh, you know, on the work front that has caused a lot of uh, maybe drama. And you've decided that, you know, you've had enough of it and you want to walk away from it. So this is either emotionally leaving it or actually physically leaving it. So, you know, you are, um, you know, um, you're not going to stand there and fight for... Um, fight that you were right in this particular situation it seems like you've made up your mind you are leaving that particular situation um, and you seem to have a new idea and a new plan and you are putting that into action with this elemental uh, wands card so this is taking that idea taking that prospect taking that um you know, maybe it's it's a new uh, project that you're beginning. So you're walk, walking away from the old controversy or the old problems that you had, and uh, you are going to start something brand new somewhere else. And you've got the Nine of Cups over here. So whatever you're going to start at, you're getting some kind of help and assistance as well. Um, and you are, um, you know, you will achieve whatever you need to achieve as well. So whatever plans you have in place, it moves from the Eight to the Nine. So here it is, leaving behind all the drama and then going forward and getting that satisfaction of um, achieving whatever you need to achieve but with some assistance going some kind of advice some kind of financial advice some kind of uh, business advice coming in for you uh, that's going to allow you to be successful so whatever project you have started or wherever you're going to be uh, putting your energies um, with this uh, this is the elemental uh, wands um, it's going to uh, be very successful and it's going to make you uh, give you a lot of satisfaction, make you pretty happy. So in the past, you've got the Wheel of Fortune that has come in. So things have changed in quite a big way here for you. And uh, you've probably been doing a lot of research, maybe working a lot on the Internet, uh, maybe, um, you know, um, whatever project you do, is, maybe it's a very scientific project as well. It's certainly something that involves a lot of, of information. So you've been working with a lot of information in this past year. So um, in the past three months, there's been, uh, this is the death card. So something has ended uh, and transformation has happened. So something big has happened, uh, brought in by this wheel of fortune, which means that these were events that were beyond your control. So something's happened uh, that has ended an old situation. And maybe this is the reason why you're moving on. Uh, you know, uh, maybe there was a lot of drama there and you have decided the blindfolds are now off. You are seeing things very, very clearly now um, and you are now moving on, deciding to move on and start something afresh. So maybe you've got a new offer that has come in and you're leaving this old uh, job behind, moving to something else, but taking all the skills that you learned from the previous job into this new particular job. And this particular new job that you're going through or whatever you're going for now uh, looks like something uh, that makes you more satisfied, gives you a lot more satisfaction. You've got the initiative ones over here. So this is, uh, you know, you're taking your ideas and you're communicating it clearly and uh, you're starting afresh and putting all your energies. You're very thrilled about this, very focused on this particular project as well. So going into the future, you've got the ace of ones. This is starting something brand new. So this is something that you have uh, had on your mind and you are now starting this new uh, part of your life, this new cycle, this new project um, from scratch, 
and or starting all over again and putting all your energy into it. And there seems to have been some kind of drama that you faced. So there was some big event that happened. Uh, you know, something ended completely. You, you know, you could have been let go from the job or, you know, um, you could have gone into liquidation, that kind of thing. But there was some kind of drama that happened uh, where the past is completely now destroyed. You can't really uh, go back to that particular post and you are no now moving away. It's, it looks like you've taken all your things and you're physically, you know, it's almost like you're physically moving away from it, uh, from all the drama that you've been facing. You've got the Nine of Wands over here. So uh, this is uh, uh, people around you giving you some help. So these people have stopped and asked for directions. So maybe you have been getting some advice from uh, friends or, or somebody around you um, in order for you to move forward. Um, and it is, you know, there, there's been help as well. So uh, maybe a whole a group of you have been let go and you all are, you know, um, advising each other or you're getting some kind of advice some kind of help some kind of assistance in order to sort this particular problem out or sort out how you what you're going to do next but it looks like you're beginning beginning something brand new here with this ace of wands a new project a new enterprise that you're beginning after something uh, really nasty has happened so there's been uh, you know a destruction something's um, uh, ended some some kind of situation has completely ended and now you're moving away from it and you you do want to move away from it. So there's a breakdown in communication here with this Ten of Swords. Uh, so even the people that you used to communicate with, you can't do that anymore. There might have been a legal situation. There might be a legal situation uh, ending to this particular uh, issue that you had over here. But you just want to move on. You want to let go of it, cut off communication with them completely, and move on. That's the end of a cycle there. So going into the future, you've got the Ace of Pentacles, the Four of Swords, and the Three of Pentacles. So these are really good cards. You've got the Ace of Pentacles, new money, new job, will take you out of a feeling of lack. That's the winter. And bring you back into the summer of your life. So, uh, you know, whatever's happened is now in the past. And now this new job offer comes in or this new money comes in here with this Ace of Pentacles. But you're still very, very stressed out about it. You've got... Oops. You've got the Four of Swords over here. So this is really uh, communicating with people, getting over whatever the situation was. There was a loss or breakdown of communication. You can see there's a broken sword over there, uh, and you're taking the power back in your hands, but you're very, very stressed out about it, and you're trying to recover from this particular situation. Like I said, there could have been legalities that were involved, so, you know, breaking off contracts, uh, that sort of thing that went down. Uh, but you're taking um, control back again. Maybe you'll be signing new contracts as well, especially with this um, Ace of Pentacles. So this is a new job maybe a new contract that's being signed here um, and uh, you're moving on but it has stressed you out quite a bit it has taken its toll on you and uh, you will start this new job and you'll be working pretty hard here you'll be working in a team it's a team effort it's a new project new money coming in you can see this money this pentacle is lit up so this particular job is going to take off and you will be working with lots of people different ages different races you know that kind of thing so uh, quite a nice mix of people that you'll be working with and you it looks like you know you can see all of these people holding hands so a very nice collaborative team effort that you'll be doing and working pretty hard very focused on that work as well coming in but the atmosphere now will be um a lot more relaxed than what you come out of so whatever drama that you went through with this a previous uh, situation uh, is, you know, even here you can see there's a lot of fire in the background over here, is going to be much more relaxing. Uh, you can see there's a lot of armchairs there. Uh, but And also there's going to be a lot of communication. You're, you will need to communicate pretty uh, pretty much uh, with each other. So and it's, it's quite a team effort. So you whatever job you're getting, a new one is coming in. So don't be worried, um, you know, now that you're, you're moving on, uh, don't be scared of doing it it looks like something brand new is coming in and there are going to be people whichever team that you're going to work in you're going to have a lot of assistance and help in that particular project so it's a lot more team effort uh, that is involved in this new group that you're going to be working with so i'm just going to draw some cards from the fairy tarot Hmm. so you've got the wheel of fortune coming in here delays are over sudden or unexpected luck a new car or travel. So the Wheel of Fortune coming in, you've got that spinning wheel over there. So things are going to turn for you and it's all on the work front. And, uh, you know, these are going to be positive changes. So all the delays, you're going to be pretty busy after this. So be aware of that. You've got the Three of Autumn over here, which is the Three of Pentacles. Follow your passion when it comes to your career. Be best at what you can do, being compensated for 
uh, your creative talents. So here again, working in a team of people, uh, being recognized for what you can do, being very much part of a team, uh, and pr working pretty hard, very focused on that work as well. And you've got the star card over here, which says, look for uh, to the future with hope and optimism, the power of faith to move mountains, happy changes that bring relief from challenging times. So things are looking up for you. This is a positive card. You're going to have some direction right now, and you are being divinely guided uh, along this path that you're going to be following. So uh, be very optimistic. Make sure that you don't lose faith, don't lose hope. So things will turn uh, in a positive way and it will be turning in your favor because after the wheel is the star and these are two major arcana cards and you've got the three of uh, pentacles, three of autumn in between. So it's all about this work, having a career and it's it's going to be a, a, uh, something that requires a lot of communication on an international front um, or speaking to a lot of people uh, around the world maybe and also a leadership position it looks like uh, with the star, you know, the uh, taking control of that situation. So you're going to be working with a really good team, taking control, being very enthusiastic. It's going to require a lot of energy and effort going into it, uh, and you'll be working with a really good team. So there's no need to stress out. Just if you're having a little bit of a delay, make sure you're getting some rest um, and making making sure that you, when you get this particular post, that you communicate your ideas uh, and be you know show your determination for sure. Show your determination and your leadership potential. So I hope that this reading has resonated with you. Please don't forget to like, share, subscribe, leave me some comments if it has. Thank you so much for watching. Take care now. Goodbye.